Hey there, today I'm going to be talking about a few things that helped me elevate my mezcal game over the last few years. Today I'll be looking at books, a blog, and a podcast, and from there you can check them out to see what may be best for you. All right, let's go. I've read three awesome books about mezcal that I continually go back to, especially if I need a snippet of information. Although all of them are about mezcal, each one of them has its own style. All right, ladies first, and first off, we have Emma Jansen's Mezcal, the History, Craft, and Cocktails of the World's Ultimate Artisanal Spirit. This is a great book, and here's what I like about it. She discusses certain agaves, but then goes into immediate bottle recommendations, which is really helpful. When she discusses flavors, she often relates them to other spirits. There's great suggestions with food pairing with these flavors, and there's an extensive cocktail section recipes galore. That said, I think this book would be a hit with cocktail lovers and also restaurant bar staff, people in the hospitality industry. All right, up next we have John McAvoy's Holy Smoke, It's Mescal. And the strength of this book, by far compared to the others, structure. There's 17 concise chapters, solid, efficient details in each one of them. McAvoy brings the knowledge in a relatable, digestible way. And after the fact, I find myself reaching for this one first because of the structure. The content's easy to find. And the last book here, The Mescal Experience by Tom Bullock. Although it's a tight race between these three books, this one's my favorite, mainly because it's the first one. But after I read it, I just was really propelled into loving Mescal and really wanting to learn more about it. And I love how this book is written. It feels a lot more like a journey. This is a great story, Bullock's a fun character in here, and the humor really hits with me. All right, quick summary of what might be right for you. Emma Jansen, perhaps bar and restaurant folk. For John McAvoy, mezcal fanatics, people that wanna drill down to the nitty gritty details. And for Tom Bullock's book, I'd say travel lovers or book lovers in general. This has high-end mezcal substance, but of the three, I think it's the most beautifully written. Or you can read all three. You can't go wrong with any of these books, Hard copies, ebooks, they're available on Amazon. And I'm still reading mine on my 2011 Kindle Fire. All right, next up, the blog and website called Mescalistas. This has a great group of writers led by Susan Koss. This is a great one-stop shop to learn about Mescal. I've followed them for a couple years now and they're always up to speed on the current Mescal events. For example, Sinaloa just became the 10th Mexican state that can make certified Mescal. And how did I know that? I got an email from Mescalistas, read the blog, and now I know. Their content's very insightful, and overall they do a great job of shining light on the mezcal industry. Just a great group over there at Mescalistas, check them out. And now for the podcast, and this is a huge mix of substance and entertainment. I listen to these guys a ton, especially when I first started out. This is the Agave Road Trip Podcast with Lou Bank and Chava Parabon. When I was starting out with Mescal, I got a lot out of their season one episodes. They were both instructional and grabbed my attention, which can be tough to do in the podcast realm. I distinctly remember one of my favorite early episodes called Oh Would You? And this was about the merits of barrel aging Mescal versus drinking it unaged or Hoven style. I was already used to tequila where the value proposition in that industry comes from barrel aging, but I soon learned that it's not near as popular with mezcal and why. Besides that episode, there's so many that are fun and insightful that range from absolute beginner to full-on fanatic. Lou and Chava play well off each other. They're a great podcast team. They're like the Jack Lemon and Walter Matthau of the mezcal world. Oh wait, those are the grumpy old men. If you're an entry-level mezcal fan, I'd give these guys a try. Start at the beginning. Some of their best stuff is right out of the starting gates. But yeah, check them out. Great dudes, great content. So there you have it. If you want to level up your Mescal game, now you have three great books you can hunt down, an awesome website and blog, and finally, a kick-ass podcast. And if you've tried any of these, leave a comment below. Love to hear your feedback. As always, tap that subscribe button for more Mescal content. Well, that'll do it for me today. I am going to salute off with a... Salvador's Mezcal, it's a Tepestate. Really dig this one. If you can find some, get some. 
But anyway, guys, it has been awesome chatting with you today. See you next time. Salud.